everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some Major League Baseball action for April the 17th, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP Club section, which has all these tools to help you make your picks easier. Okay, so for the four sided games in Major League Baseball for the 17th, we're going to take a look at six of those games, so let's get started. We come down through here. First game we want to look at is Los Angeles and Boston. Los Angeles comes in burning hot. You can see the winners of their last two, three, and three over the last six. But Boston is on a four-game losing streak, and they are ice cold down. If you look at the over-under, you can see Boston has been rolling it over the line in their last three, while Los Angeles under in their last two. So they're kind of trending on opposite sides of the line as far as that's concerned. If you look at the power ranks indicator, See, Boston is stable here at plus 9 after up to plus 26 just a few days ago, while the Angels have climbed from plus 7 up to plus 15. Shohei Otani is scheduled to pitch for the Angels. He has been incredible so far this year, 2-0 with a 0.47 ERA, and Boston has not yet named their starting pitcher. The score predictor has the Angels by a 9-6 score with a very high level of confidence in the prediction of about 84%. If you look at the stability factor, uh, both teams have been consistent with regards to their favorite underdog status. You see uh, Boston at plus four and Los Angeles at plus three at the moment. I like the Angelness in this one here, uh, but I would pass on the over-under bet due to the fact that the teams have been treading on opposite sides of the line. The next game we want to look at is, let me scroll down through here, Tampa Bay and Cincinnati. Tampa Bay comes in burning hot. As, as of the time that I'm doing this video, they have yet to lose a game, uh, setting a major league record for the start of the season. Um, and they have been involved in games over the line in five out of the last six. While well, Cincinnati is on the opposite side of the coin, they are just three and or two and four over their last six. And they've been turning in games over the line as well. The score predictor has Tampa Bay by a nine to five score with confidence in prediction of 75%. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, here's Tampa Bay across the top here since the beginning of April 5th at plus 29. And you can see here that uh, Cincinnati down at the bottom at zero. If you look at the stability factor, Tampa Bay has been the most stable team in the league at plus 12. And Cincinnati has been pretty consistent as well, and they are at plus five. In the end, I don't see a way for Cincinnati to win this game as long as Tampa stays hot. They are a good bet. Go with Tampa to win in a game over the line. Next game we want to look at is Arizona and St. Louis. Arizona comes in burning hot. Winners of five out of their last six. While the Cardinals are averaged down three and three over their last six. And they are coming off of a five nothing loss to Pittsburgh. If you take a look at the over under five of the last six games has been over for Arizona. And the last two games has been under for St. Louis. You see Arizona burning hot and St. Louis average down at the moment. Um, the score predictor has Arizona by a 7-3 score with about the confidence in the toss of a coin of 50.3%. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, uh, interestingly enough, even though Arizona has been playing better ball lately, St. Louis is the one with, the, with a higher number here on the power ranks indicator, plus 24, compared to plus 19 for Arizona. If you look at the stability factor, uh, Arizona not consistent at all right now at minus one, uh, and St. Louis at plus two. So neither team has been really that stable or that consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. But in the end, I like the Cardinals to win this one, but I would pass on the over and under bet. Okay, um, the next one we want to look at, just scroll down through here, is Atlanta and San Diego. It should be a very interesting matchup. The Braves burning hot at the moment after losing their first three. They, announced they have won their last three, while the Padres have lost three out of their last four. And uh, Atlanta is burning hot versus average down on the team. Um, yeah. And on the, uh, let's see, we're looking at the power ranks in the care next, yeah. But a little confusion there for a moment, but we're back on track here. Okay, so on the power ranks indicator, 
Atlanta is at plus 25, and San Diego is at plus 16. You can see that uh, Atlanta is on the upward trend, and San Diego is on the downward trend at the moment. If you look at the over-under, you can see Atlanta has been involved in games over the line in their last four, while San Diego has been involved in games under the line in their last four. Um, the score prediction has Atlanta by a 9-1 to one score, but the confidence in prediction is only about 41%, so take that with a grain of salt. And we already looked at the power ranks indicator. We don't need to look at the head-to-head -head matchup since it's so early in the season, but we will take a, take a look at the volatility oscillator. The stability factor, you can see Atlanta has been consistent at plus three, while San Diego has been inconsistent. They were at plus one, and you can see lately they've been very inconsistent with regard to their favorite underdog status, and they have dropped to minus one in that category. I like the Braves in this one, and I think it's going to be a lower scoring game, so let's go with the Braves and a game under the line. Chicago and Oakland. The Cubs come in average status. They're coming off of a loss, and they are 4-2 and two over their last six. While Oakland is dead status, they have won just one out of their last six. If you take a look at the over-under, Oakland's been involved in games over the line, five out of their last six games. And the Cubs even up 3-3 three, three in their last six games with regard to the over-under. Um, the score predictor has the Cubs by a comfortable 9-3 margin with about 60% level of confidence in the prediction. The power ranks indicator shows the Cubs on an up and downward trend. Right now, they are up to plus 28. While Oakland on a slight upward trend, but they are still down very low at plus 5. As far as consistency, Oakland very consistent at plus 6. Doesn't mean they're good, just means they're consistent with regard to their favorite underdog stats. And you can see here the Cubs have been very inconsistent and are at minus 1 for most of the early part of the season, now they are at minus two. I think the Cubs will take this one. I don't have much confidence in Oakland at the moment. I think this is a Cubs game, and I think it's going to be high scoring. So let's go with the Cubs and over the line. The last game we want to look at is the Mets and the Dodgers. The Mets come in average up, winners of uh, four of their last six, two and two in their last four. Well, the Dodgers are ice cold up. They are two and one over their last three, but just two and four over their last six. If you look at the overrunner, you can see team, teams are trending in opposite sides. Uh, the last three, the Mets have been under, while the Dodgers have been over in five out of their last six. David Peterson is scheduled to pitch for the Mets. The Dodgers have not yet named their starter. Uh, Peterson is coming in 0-2 with the 4-9-1 ERA and a very poor bet at minus 300 on the pitcher profit oscillator. The score predictor has the Mets by a 7-5 to five score, but take it with a grain of salt, really, because the confidence in the prediction is only 30%. Take a look at that as it gets closer to game time to see if that has changed at all. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, the Mets are at plus 17, and the Dodgers have dropped off of a cliff here. They were at plus 20 just over the last, well, day. It hasn't been updated in the last couple of days, but just in one day, they dropped to plus 5. You look at the consistency factor, you will notice that both teams are at plus one, so both teams are moderately stable, moderately consistent with regard to their fair underdog status. So in the end here, I think this is a Mets win. Don't usually uh, bet against the Dodgers at home. They haven't been playing well, though, so let's go with the Mets, but pass on the over-under bet. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the games for Major League Baseball for April the 17th. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.